While the world has been rightly focused on the Russian invasion of Ukraine, another threat may be resurfacing in North Korea. New satellite images showing signs of new activity at a North Korean nuclear testing facility, a facility the country claimed to have destroyed in 2018. NBC News national security correspondent Ken Delanian is joining us now with more. Ken, uh, what are these new images showing that this destroyed site? Well, they're showing new work. This is a site in the north of the country, Aaron, where North Korea had built a series of tunnels they were using to test nuclear bombs. They carried out a total of six tests there from 2006 to 2017, the last of which involved detonation of what analysts believe was a hydrogen bomb. All of those tests violated the United Nations resolutions. In 2017, they agreed to dismantle the site as part of the diplomatic talks with the Trump administration. And in May 2018, they brought journalists in and blew up some of the tunnels. It wasn't clear exactly how much damage was done, but they've not tested a nuclear weapon uh, there since, Aaron. So, Ken, if we, we're seeing these new satellite images that suggest something is going on there, have we gotten a handle yet on what exactly is there and, and what may be the, the, the end game with, with this new construction? Yeah, the intelligence community watches this site closely, and so do private experts using commercial satellites. And last week, they discovered a new building and some other small improvements that weren't there two weeks ago on the satellite photos. So the folks at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies say it's the first sign of activity there since 2018. They say this is very preliminary, but they worry this could mean North Korea is moving towards resuming nuclear testing. Obviously, the diplomatic talks with the Trump administration didn't go anywhere, and things are at a stalemate right now, but North Korea has never stopped improving its nuclear weapons program, Aaron. All right, Ken Delaney and Forrest in our Washington bureau today. Ken, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.